I could even do this thing, which I can increment, and now we need to worry about order of operations. I can figure out what place is, what the dereference of place is, and then increment, I think it'll increment the value inside of here. But again, this is one of those things I wouldn't trust myself on. I would actually test it out first, right? This is one of those, do I dereference? Is it, it should be, the evaluation should be this, and then the plus plus. So whatever is in place and I plus plus it, uh, it'll be a particular value and then I'll pass it around, but I'm not, I would have to test it out. I would actually look at, I would actually run the code and see what happens because I don't know the instead of the order of operations in this case. It should be take my value, increment my value and put it in into the box, but it might be take the place, move the position over one and then dereference. It should, I'm pretty sure this has to be and we should always, we could check it out. This should be incrementing the value, um, taking the value and then increment. And let's, let's find out actually. What's the point of even just yammering on about this? Let's find out what we have here. So I'm going to uh, int box is equal to um, place plus plus. And I'm gonna have uh, in star and I'm gonna have carton and I'm gonna put a breakpoint on this thing and let's see what happens because why not uh, okay and let's move this up a bunch of lines just this will make our lives easier So let's plop this down. Let's and let's have let's see this in action. Okay. So cartons equal to the value four. I'm going to move it down one line. All right. Place is going to be a pointer to carton. So it should be the address what carton is. It's zero uh, zero one three three F D D eight. That location. Okay, I am then going to, I gotta figure out what the order is. What would box be? Box is not initialized right now. The If I increment the value of carton, it would become five, and then the box value would end up being five, or I might move one step over. It should actually increment, so let's find out. Box is equal to the number four. Wait, what? And what is my value for for uh, carton? And carton's value is also for the box value is for uh, this is so. Let me have a look at this. And places value is this thing here. Uh, that's always a weird thing to look at. So what ended up happening here? Let's actually stop it again and let's have a look. If I take the place and I add pl I plus plus it, what would I expect to have? This would be the location of place one step over and dereference that thing. Uh, int foo is equal to 17. Let's have a look at that. And we can look at this in a bunch of different ways. So let's play with this. Because, you know, sometimes I don't either I don't remember or in many cases I do remember, but I like going over it just so we can talk it through. So I'm going to put two variables in a row here. So they should have a contiguous data. If I move into the next next one and I modify it, I'll be modifying that 17. I also want to see if incrementing place plus place plus plus should move my pointer over by one integer. Uh, and then if I dereference that it should be the value 17. Uh, if so, Let's see if I get that. So it's foo 17. Place is equal to, is pointing to the four. And then box is going to be equal to the value four. And place is pointing to, let's see what, what 17 of the, my 17 is. Foo is seven, still 17. Curtain is equal to that. 
There's something weird going on here. Oh, there you go. Place is pointing to, uh, and I'm going to need a hexadecimal display again. Place is point is not actually. Oh, okay. It's pointing to the value C C C C C C C, which is uninitialized. It's pointing to uh, that's what's actually being stored here. That's C E zero, and this is C D C. And if I look at foo, I get the value. I'll get the hexadecimal value eleven. I got to look at what foo is because it might not be continuous. I think my place is actually I'm moving place. Place is moving over by one, and then I'm dereferencing that. But it's uh, why is it giving me four though? That's my question. So we could also do it another way. So let's try this. Depends on how I want to view this. So the order of operations, I don't I don't tend to guess on this one on the exam because it's too much fiddly deedly detail. Okay, so if I dereference it first and then increment it, what would I what would happen? In this case, what I would expect is I the place is pointed to the variable carton. And then I boxes might be equal to value four, and then carton is going to be equal to the value five. That's what I expect for this, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, it's pointing to the four. I increment the whole thing. Place is still pointing to carton. Box is equal to value four. Place is equal to the value. Uh, place is pointing to uh, carton, which has the value five. So I get what my value so box is going to be equal to whatever um it's i dereference this thing i increment it and then so boxes but then box just gets the value four still <laughs> this is weird because box will just get the it's just going to be getting the value for place which is the value four and then i increase the value of carton afterwards so carton is equal to five Box equal to four because the plus plus comes after everything else. Ugh. Okay, let's try it one more time. Let's try it. We can even do it like this. Increment, then check, then change my then dereference. So let's see what happens here. All right. So place is equal to carton. My carton is four. My bo the box is not set yet. What is box? It's box gets the value five. The place is pointing to the value five. Carton is equal to the value five. Why? Because I'm getting what that value is. And then I'm going to, I'm also going to increment it. Let's stop it one more time. Let's get rid of those parentheses and let's see what happens. So the order of operations would be box is going to be equal to whatever the value for cartoon is. And then I would assume that I would be changing the value for cartoon. But from what we saw last time, it didn't actually change that. So we're going to find out what the heck this thing does. Okay, value four, foo is equal to 17. It'll move the pointer itself, I do believe. So the place is now pointing at a four. If I go down one step, box is equal to the value four place is pointing at nothing at all really um, because it is the next the foo was not immediately afterwards I thought it was going to be immediately afterwards in the as the pointer it's not there's something between carton and foo and I'm pointing at it and so place is pointing at some other point position that I was not expecting if it was an array I could change to get the first element of my array and then I'd be the place would automatically be moved to the next position in the array Okay, this is weird gotcha kind of questions that I don't tend to ask on an exam. But if you get, this is the reason why I don't like doing this kind of stuff. Break it out into parts. So I would do this. If, if I was going to do it the right way, the right way is to do this. Uh, let's do semicolon and then place plus plus. What's the order of operation? I know what the order of operations are is now. It is, I'm getting the value for box is whatever place had was pointing to, so the value four, and then I'm moving my place over by one, right? If 
there's no point having really tight, dense code if no one can understand it. So I tend to never, ever, ever do this kind of thing myself, but that's one of those you know things to look into. So if I put the parentheses around here, what ends up happening? It, effectively, what we had here was I will box will get the value for place, and then I'll upgrade uh, update place and move the pointer over by one. Ugh, okay, and that's what what happened there. Again, if you have something like this, if it's too dense, no one's going to understand what you wrote unless they really know their pointers. So. You could play with it yourself. If you're not sure how it does, works, do what we just did. <coughs> Excuse me. Do what we just did. Play around with it. See what happens. That's the best one. Some of the best teachers for you in terms of how you learn how pointers work.